The Naval Academy could not be more excited about this opportunity to bring two story programs here to Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. There's a lot of history in Annapolis. We take pride that it's uh, we're, the, we're the home team and it's a pretty special venue, it's a pretty special place and hopefully we make the best of it. The stadium was built as an ode to all those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice in all the battles that are listed throughout the whole stadium. It's a pretty special place. If you guys are ready to do this, I am. I'm going to take it serious, we're going to prepare serious, and we're going to go all the way. The Naval Academy hockey team goes all the way back to 1971. 2 one continuous. Let's go. I played four years from 77 to 81. Uh, they started playing in Dahlgren Hall in the mid-70s, and Dahlgren Hall was an experience. Uh, it's one of the oldest structures on the campus, dating all the way back to 1903. They had no stands, and so it was just the ice rink, but then they had like a balcony that would go all the way around the rink, and so fans would look over and watch the games. You could actually see it move and it would sound like there were 10,000 people in that, uh, that arena. It was such a unique venue with all the globe lighting in there, the aircraft hanging from the ceiling, and just the history there. I don't remember, somewhere near the top of the circle, I raised my stick over on my hips and I took a, a pretty below average slap shot. When I got to the bench, the coach said, you ever raise your stick above your knees again, you're benched, and uh, the name slap shot started to stick. Uh, so it's not because I had a particularly good one, it was, it was actually pretty average or below average. Uh, it followed me uh, all the way down to aviation and this idea that I, as a, you know, a hockey player, didn't have a very good slap shot uh, kind of fit into that aviation call sign mantra. It was just exciting to be part of that team and it inspired me and I think it helped shape the way that I led in combat and in squadrons flying off aircraft carriers for the rest of my life. Let's go, boys! To me, Navy is the pinnacle to have hockey players that end up being leaders for the country. And that's really their objective. It's not to go play for the Caps, unfortunately. We have a lot of special operations guys, so Navy SEALs, EOD, a lot of pilots for the most part. Our mentalities are towards more combat-specific jobs afterwards. I think that's just part of being out on the ice. Once I graduate, I, I'm going to go serve in the United States Marine Corps. Those are the big things for me. And then being able to play college hockey on top of that, that's just an added bonus. It's a very team attitude with everything we do. Although every one of these guys are leaders before they get here, when they get here they learn how to be 25 leaders working together as one single unit. Uh, and that's a fantastic feeling when you see those type of guys uh, that are in here doing that. We'll have a bunch of old officers um, that come out and play four and four with us after the season's over. I just scored a goal. And I came and sat down next to him. And he like gave me a fist bump, and I just realized the suit was next to me. He's like, "Hey, nice goal out there." I was like, "Oh, thank you, sir." And he's like, "I didn't have to call me sir out here. Don't worry about that." So, uh, very relaxed. Uh, definitely loves hockey here. Vice Admiral is a fantastic guy. One of those type of men who leads by example. He walks right in the locker room, and all the guys love it because, and when he's in there, he talks like a player. He's kind of a legend around here, slap shot. He's come into the locker room a few times, trying to get us going and stuff, so it's really cool. It's the soup. It's the superintendent of the Naval Academy at your game. Get you excited. Greatest sport ever invented, and I'm just fortunate to be a participant and a fan. The NHL fell in love with this Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium and realized for 35,000 seats, there's no bad seat here. Everybody here will see the game. It will be a spectacular event. Hockey's been growing pretty quickly, especially with the cap so close by. And hopefully with us here, hopefully we, we, you know, we can influence the, the young kids to start playing too. The transformation from our football field to uh, a mock aircraft carrier with a hockey rink built on top, and then to have the teams come onto this ice that will be professionally made by the National Hockey League, uh, I think it's going to be an event that will be long remembered, more than just a single NHL game.